What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, you know, your boy is just fixing more issues with his cars. Like for example, uh, his daily driver is F-150. So I actually bought this thing to be a very reliable daily and not have to deal with any repairs. But it decided to give me the absolute worst repair possible. I mean, it could be worse honestly, but uh, we have a turbo to rebuild. Not entirely rebuild, but we have to remove the turbo and replace all the gaskets on it. Mainly the coolant line ones because the coolant lines that connect to the turbo are leaking. So yes. We have to remove our turbo. I've never done that in any other car. I'm hoping on an F-150 it's not going to be as hard. Uh, mainly because the video shows it's on the side, not on the bottom. So uh, let's get at it. We are officially back home, and yes, this is the F-150 that we ended up picking and towing the M5 down to LA. This thing is an absolute horse. It's an absolute demon. It's amazing. I love this truck. But since it's an EcoBoost, which allows you for better towing, unfortunately, the turbo, the coolant line that went to the turbo, I guess the, the turbo got too hot and then basically it bursted or something or whatever. Um, I don't really know how to work on Fords, but I can't, I can't, I mean, I don't think it should be any harder than working on a BMW, um, but right now, actually, it's not leaking anything, which is kind of crazy. So this thing is a dual turbo F-150, uh, I think 3.5 with twin turbos. One turbo on this side, one turbo on that side. And this thing's actually holding its coolant, surprisingly, huh? I'm so, so, so confused. Because just the other day, it was draining its coolant, and I drove it all day today, and it didn't go down at all. Anywho, it's still gonna be an issue. I'm sure once we take it up to LA and the temperatures get really hot, that gasket's gonna again seep fluids, and we'll lose all of our coolant again. So yeah, the mission is we have to remove all the stuff over here, and the turbo is straight down there, but thankfully we're not gonna be working from the top, we're not gonna be working from the bottom, we're actually gonna be working right here. We're gonna be taking off everything over here, the wheel guard, the wheel, and then we're gonna try to access the turbo. I believe it's like right there. I don't really know. I watched a couple videos on it, guys. There's not much videos on it, but I mean, hey, never know. Again, I'm not seeing anything leaking, surprisingly. The odds that you guys are gonna be having this issue and the odds that you guys actually have an F-150 is pretty low, but I'm gonna go ahead and just put all the part numbers out right here, just in case any of you guys have similar issues. The odds are very low, but I'd like to help at least somebody out there. So yeah, here is all the part numbers to everything I'm using for the left side turbo. Uh, so yes, these are all the gaskets. This is the screw that actually holds the coolant line. So that's the actual issue that we're having. Uh, this is for the exhaust manifold. Uh, no, this is for the manifold. This is for the actual exhaust. Um, this one, again, is another one because we have two of them. And then this one, I believe, is for the oil. So, uh, yeah, pretty much a bunch of gaskets we're replacing here on the left turbo. And hopefully, we're not going to have any issues with the right turbo anytime soon. But assuming that this went out, that's going to be going out soon. Anywho, let's go ahead, get this thing jacked up, put a jack in, take off this wheel, and start work. <laughs> Alrighty, so we just got the wheel guard out. I'm not gonna lie guys, that was probably way harder than a BMW to be honest. But um, after getting that removed, the turbo is right there. So that is the turbo right here. We have a bunch of things to disconnect from it. Um, it doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't look fun either. So let's go ahead and get to work and just, just oh man, how am I supposed to do this? All right guys, so I pretty much loosened up the two hoses to the back of the turbo and uh, these two hoses connect to the charge pipe and the intakes. I'm gonna go ahead remove this and remove that so I can at least pull those two hoses back and disconnect it from the turbo. So uh, three, two, one. So that black hose right there has a retaining clip. I just removed it. I got those two lines out. Again, I got that vacuum line out. Let's just go ahead and pull that hose up. I heard you have to just kind of wiggle it back and forth so you don't break it. There's one on the back of the turbo as well, but let's just go ahead and pull that front one off and just let all the coolant drain to kind of, some kind of like bucket or something. So let me get a bucket down there and just start draining the coolant. So 
I basically got the rear exhaust finally off of the turbo. Oh my God, that took me literally forever. I literally went down to Harbor Freight, bought a new tool. Um, it's kind of like a swivel ratchet or whatever. And uh, that still didn't do the trick, but at least now I have a new tool. That's cool, I guess. But I ended up using this, honestly, which, uh, I, and I used a swivel on the end of it. I actually ended up using this. Um, and I, it was just one weird rig, but I've learned I, when I installed the blow off valve on the 435 I've learned that rigging things up like that works best. So uh, anyhow uh, Now it's gonna pull off the exhaust and I believe the next thing is the oil line So let's go ahead and do that as well. All right guys. So after about years and years of sweating and I probably lost about 3,000 calories I believe this turbo should be coming out. I think so. I mean, I, I really don't know. There you go Dang there we go. Okay Bro, this thing's heavy. Jeez. This thing's so heavy, dude. Slap it into the, uh, <laughs> the I-8. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Our problem is this one right here. So this one, as you guys can see probably also, it's really like corroded and just really dirty. So I, I believe that it was leaking from this one. I'm not 100% sure, but this is the main, one of the main coolant leaks. And honestly, I cannot believe that the turbo in my hand, bro. That's crazy. Turbo is my first turbo I've ever removed off a car. So Ooh, that crazy. is an accomplishment in itself. Uh, but uh, anyhow, there's this coolant line that we have to remove, and there's this coolant uh, thing we have to remove, and we replace both those gaskets at the same time. Uh, and then what else? We have to replace the gasket that goes right here, which is this one. So this one's gotta get replaced as well. And then there's an oil one on the bottom, which is right here. Uh, so this one, I ordered gaskets for literally everything. So we should be able to literally just replace all the gaskets and then just put it right back in there, reverse the process, and hopefully no more coolant leaks. But uh, honestly, buddy. That's crazy, dude. You wanna clean it up or no? <laughs> nah. Screw it. <laughs> Screw it, just put it back in there. <laughs> oh man, this was a mission, bro. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. Cool. All right, guys, so uh, yeah, that that's happening. <laughs> so uh, we pushed in the car, we put on the wheel, we just pushed it in, uh, as you guys can see, and it literally barely clears, like barely. <laughs> it really doesn't pay it though. <laughs> yeah, so in this case, I know you're gonna have to walk around. <laughs> So if you guys see the gasket right here, we this is the one that was originally on it. And then this one right here, this they actually sent me the right hand side for the right turbo, not the left turbo. So they sent me the wrong one and I checked the part number again and I ordered the left one. So I'm gonna have to go to local Ford and just buy one and send this back on eBay. And I have another gasket that I bought somewhere over here. Yeah, it's this one as well. Uh, I don't need this anymore because this one actually is right between this and I'm not actually opening this uh, this turbo piece. So uh, we're good on that, which means I could probably make another $40 just returning this. Thank the Lord. I'm saving every penny ever since the M5 situation. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning when we get that new gasket and uh, we'll be able to put this whole turbo back together. I'm just happy uh, we got these two pieces on. This is the stuff that's leaking, the coolant lines. We got that one on there right there and that one on over there. So we have brand new coolant lines. This thing should be perfect. Hopefully we put it all back together. It's not that that bad thankfully the left hand side you don't have to remove any like as much things on for the right hand side you actually have to remove the starter and you have to remove the steering rack so uh luckily it looks like it is the left hand side and hopefully the right hand side is not going out anytime soon without further ado guys i'll catch y'all tomorrow and this is day two guys and this is the brand new part from ford so yes this is the part we pulled out this is the wrong side this is the right side let's go ahead and put that bad boy on there and just install the turbo Did the video. Alrighty guys, so we got the turbo in there. We connected it to the exhaust, um, to like the cat. And then there's like a coolant line on the way back, which was taking us like literally like an hour to plug in, but we finally got it on. And then now we are doing the oil line right on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see Norse hand right there, but uh, he's pretty much tightening in the oil line to the turbo. And then we just have to connect a few more things. So over here we need to connect, I think this is a coolant high, this coolant line down right here, this one right here, or this hose, and then this coolant line right here into that. So um, we're like, honestly, the hardest part is done. Um, we just have to do the little things now. Yeah, so button it all up together. Yeah, so we're having a good time. It's only been an hour and a half, so we're chilling. Not bad, honestly. It's honestly not bad. Honestly, I thought we were gonna be here for a few hours doing the, the one on the back, because that one was really tough. Yeah, but we got it in there, thankfully. Yeah. Let me double check real quick. Double check. <laughs> Make sure it's in there before we go any farther. Yeah, and I don't feel any lip on there. Okay, we should on be good then. Side. I think we're good. Okay, then uh, let's go ahead, finish the rest of it real quick, and we'll show you guys the process.
And after about three hours of uh, destruction, Ruling work. Ruling. bro, what is the temperature at right now? It's 107 degrees. Right <laughs> oh my God, guys. Literally, I, I mean, I thought working on a BMW is hard, bro. But I mean, if you had to do a turbo on a BMW, it'd probably be a whole lot harder. You have to drop the subframe and stuff. Likely you're gonna have to drop the subframe on this thing. Yeah, but uh, oh my God, getting that new turbo in there and plugging everything back in. I'm really hoping everything went in perfectly. I really don't know. <laughs> one way to find out. Oh, the only way to, I mean, the thing is, the only thing I was worried about was that rear coolant line. That rear coolant line was the one that was leaking in the first place. Um, getting it to go back in was super hard. We had to put some greaser and all that stuff. And uh, basically, we believe it clicked in, right? I think it's good. I'm 95% I'm sure it clicked in. Yeah, we're gonna find out. We're, about, we're gonna find out. <laughs> And uh, other than that, this top coolant line as well, obviously connects to something else. I'm wondering if we wear it out, where, you know, where it connects or something by moving it up and down a lot. I'm not really too sure. Again, I don't really know much about this truck, but uh, um, at the same time, we did replace every single gasket on the turbo itself. Um, I'm just hoping nothing else got damaged to where you have to remove everything back again to replace any of that stuff. I really don't think so. It's just probably the biggest job I've ever done myself. So uh, I guess moment of truth is just put in some coolant and start her out. Yes, sir. Oh boy. Find some distilled water. Yeah, distilled water first so we don't waste our money on our cooler real quick. <laughs> Moment of truth? Moment of truth. Oh buddy. Let's try this. I think it's just burning off oil. See how yeah. I think it's just oil, right? Yeah, I think it's just oil. Okay, there's a lot of oil on it, but I'm in Yeah. Because it is smoking. Yeah. Well, that is scary, bro. It looks like the turbo is about to explode. Let everything heat up properly. And because uh, you'll know truly uh, with the gaskets if it's really bad or not. Uh, or if it's even lightly cracked, once the engine gets the cold temperature, um, that's when it typically starts seeping fluids. So let's let it cool, let's just let it keep running. This is just on distilled water. And then once we clean up everything, everything's good and there's no leaks, uh, we'll assemble all of this. And if there's still no leaks, then we'll go ahead and put this uh, coolant. Yeah. And then we should be good, hopefully, hopefully. Fingers crossed, guys. I'm done. I am so done. Oh my God. And welcome back guys to the second day. So yeah, I'm just lying here rethinking my entire life, financially at least. You know, haven't been in the best luck recently. And I tried saving myself about $900. I've been doing some research about how much it costs to replace that turbo gasket. And it was about $900. It was 800 labor, 100 in parts. I was like, huh, you know, that's a lot of money for labor. And I got time. If you don't got money, you got time. So I went ahead and tried attempting to do everything myself. Spent about $100 there, probably another $40 on coolant. I ended up pulling it, putting about one gallon of the coolant in there. And uh, long story short, after doing that entire job, spending about two days on it, um, it just started seeping like it was nothing. And I was like, oh my lord, it, it could honestly not be that gasket, but I'm pretty sure it's that gasket. So like, oh my god, I don't know what happened. Maybe it's the tube that actually goes in there slightly damaged somehow. But um, I really don't know what it is at this point. So I'm gonna be taking it to my local mechanic, my dad, one of my dad's mechanic, not a BMW mechanic, like a, uh, like actually somebody that works on trucks all the time. I'm gonna take it down to him. Hopefully he can get it sorted. Hopefully he can get it fixed. Ford quoted me 900. I'm not spending 900. That's too much money for that. So it's supposed to be a daily, a reliable one at that. I'm just hoping for the best at this point. There's a saying, don't kick a man when he's down. Unfortunately, I've been down. I've been kicked a few times by all of my cars. Literally just, they all took a chance. They just kept on kicking me. But it is what it is. 
it is. Hopefully, hopefully, um, I'm at the lowest point right now, and hopefully once we get everything situated, good things are to come, and I'm super excited because I know there is going to be another build that's going to be super exciting on this channel. I just have to take the necessary steps to get there. Without further ado, guys, that pretty much concludes this video. I'm going to try to see with Valtronic if we can install the i8 exhaust because I feel like that's going to be exciting, and I just really want to just enjoy something for once uh, for the past couple of weeks. It's just been literally repairs and trying to figure out and sort all my cars. Like, I just want to enjoy the i8, and I feel like with the Valtronic exhaust, it'll be something super special. So let me reach out to Valtronic. If you guys can help me out, and check out Valtronic down below. We're trying to get him to 5,000 subscribers, and he will officially let me install this exhaust. It's literally sitting right in front of me. It's torture, but if you guys can get him to 5K subscribers, we can install this exhaust. So again, Valtronic's link's down below. At least let's try to get him to 3,000 by the end of this video. Without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.